In this video we are going to show you the deduct production and all the processing that needs to be done for this for making the ducts. In this video you will see the how the deduct is being made and first of all we will show from the beginning point, from the starting ending point and how the, all the deduct production is being made. We will show the techniques of deduct playing and the, all the necessary information about the deduct, about the rate of the deduct, about the special tools needed for playing the deduct about the caring the group please pay, pay attention to the fingers how the player uses fingers to to make the sound because fingers are very important for uh, for the sound, how sweet is sound, how soft is sound, it depends on the player's ability to use the fingering. Point and then we'll go to the Um, the duke is being made from apricot wood. Only apricot wood is uh, used for the duke making. There are some masters who use other woods, but uh, apricot wood is the best, and professional the dukes are only from apricot wood. So, so now you see the part of the tree that the master buys from goes and cuts the trees and brings here at home, and they make it a uh, small part and they use only the thickest parts of the duduk to make uh, of the tree to make the duduk all the dukes are being made from the middle part of the tree like from here if you use the edges of the tree it won't last long so the duduk will be defective as you see these trees are very old uh, uh, all these trees are at least 50 years old. If you make dudukes from younger trees, it will be wet and drying process is very complicated and sometimes it's not possible to, to dry the wood. So these are 50 years old trees cut for making the dukes. And then, then this part of trees goes to the sewing process and as you see here, the master cuts it in very small pieces to prepare for drying. This, as you see those parts, they, they stay there at least two, three months, but before that, I forgot to show that these trees, parts of trees, are here at least for three, four years. So they are 50 years old trees, and they stay in the yard of the master for three, four, five years to dry, and then the master use a saw to cut them up and then they leave the small parts of the duduk pieces of the duduk wood for two three months to dry one more now we use these parts of trees to cut them up to the size of the duduk and then we take this wood to the saw to cut them to small pieces for duduk
To get very professional quality, high quality duduk, the master has to use only these parts of the duduk. These white parts are going are not necessary. So for duduk, we the master uses only this middle part of the wood. Now we will see the sewing process. Now the master makes two pieces from this wood. This is essential because if you if he uses the saw, sometimes cracks happen on the wood. So after making two pieces, they take it to the saw. Now the master, master is making small pieces. the middle part of the wood. The wood is ready. And so now the material, main material for the duke is ready. So we are taking only the middle part of the wood, please. We don't need that part. We don't we don't need that part. We take it out and we use only this part. And this wood, as you see it's about the duke size. So after drying and special processing, we go to the special machine to make the dupes. This is the master's room. The, he uses two special machines. First of all, first of all these, and then from this machine we get the final the dupe. These tools are for tuning the dupes and making the holes. We will show that process later. As you see, this was the cut wood, small piece of wood. We, from this step, we got this part. We will go next step to next step. So now you see we got the round part of the duduk, it's almost ready uh, before drying. We need to dry it for one more month. This is on the machine, special machine. Now this round part we put in the special the remainders of the wood and it stays there over one or two months to dry out. So now we will see the dried wood that was there for more than two months. 
So this is the sound. I don't know the exact word, but this is the sound of the wood. Now we will take out the dried wood ready for making the dough. So, as you see, it, as you see, this is already dried and it is black. The, the other one, the new one was um, white. This is black after two months drying. Now we are going to use already dried wood counter to do and we will get the after this process we will get almost the without all to make it very very flat and soft. Now this is almost to do. We need to make holes and then we need to um, color it. Now the master is making holes for the do. Yes, he, he has marked the standard places. So each to do has eight holes in front and two holes in the back. widening the hole for the for the reed. That that this process is for reed. Putting the reed inside the to do. size of the hole for the reed, so if it is small, he will widen it more. So if it's small, he's going to widen. Now the look is almost ready without tuning and without coloring, then we go we are going to color it, make it ready finally and then the final process is the tuning process. We will show it later. Now the master is using a special chemical chemical material for making the wood more mature. Some other masters, this master says that some other masters, they are just coloring the duduk without doing this chemical process. But this chemical process is necessary because it, it makes uh, the wood to last longer and uh, it affects also the sound of the duduk because it becomes sweeter and close to the duduk sound. Those duduks which are not, uh, which are made without this chemical processing, those the dukes they don't sound good and those the dukes are not uh, they are not lasting long. After two three hours mm -hmm. after two three hours it gets uh, when it gets dry when then the master cleans it from the cleans the chemical and then takes to the coloring process.
Now the, the duke is drying for 2-3 hours and then after this we will clean the chemicals on it from it. These are ready to do so ready. We need to wait for the chemical to dry out and then we will show the coloring process. It's, it's, we are using just the regular um, oil to color it. Something After applying chemical material, the duduk becomes this color and now we, we are going to use um, oil to make it brown, to color it. Now master applies oil on duduk, make it brown and it stays for a couple of weeks to dry out. See how, how is the color? Oil is very important because uh, during playing the duke, the uh, the duke becomes wet. When there is no oil applied, wet the duke uh, will crack very easily. If oil is applied on the duke, the water produced water goes down and it doesn't affect the duke. The oil protects Duduk from getting wet and if Duduk is not wet it is high quality Duduk. If Duduk doesn't get wet during playing it is high quality because when it gets wet uh, water goes into the wood and wood will easily crack after playing like a couple of times. is burning the holes and all the do just to make sure that it is clean. There is no wood remainder from it. This is very important process. Many Duduk masters don't do this. this process the duke needs to be tuned
This is tuning process. The, after making the duke, now the master tries to listen to the duke and how the tuning is correct, and then he will tune the the duke with the special instrument. This is the inst instrument. It's very hard. This is this process takes maybe at least an hour because they check every note, every half a note, every quarter note. This instrument is used for <coughs> this is the second instrument for tea. <coughs> <coughs> Now the master tunes each note separately. You see the camera tune and it's attached on the duke. So tuning is just making the holes wider or narrower or just digging under the holes. It's this process just to making sure that airflow is correct and the sound. Now the master tries to tune the duke after tuning the instrument, he checks with the piano. So the one note doesn't sound very good, so he's tuning again. So this is double tuning process. First with, with camera tone, the second time with piano. This big one is made by his father, so 
the beginner was his father and then and then he took after his father and he has his own works here. This is a three four bedroom museum. This is a big chest. It's, this chest is, has been made ten years ago. So as you see the chest figures, these are the black figures. These are the white ones. This is the next room. As you see, Andranik is Simon is making not not only dudukes but also kamanchas. This is a string instrument. This is also kamancha. These are the dudukes with kamanchas. Bas duduk. Engraved to do in A, pass to do. C to do. B B to do. D to D to do. So he's making all seven kinds of to do's. He's making also drums. As you see, these are all learning style drums. I want to show you the engravings on Kamancha. This one is Zurna, another woodwind Armenian instrument. It has um, more uh, noisier sound. It's not it's not as sweet as the duke, but during the wedding parties, Zurna is the main instrument in Armenia. These are the reeds. As you see, all our reeds are strip protected. These are leather strips. We use these leather strips for protecting reeds because reeds get get cracked when they when you use it gets more wet. Uh, wetter and moisture makes the reed to crack. So these leather reeds helping to protect. Um, leather strips helping to protect the reed and last longer. Besides that, it has another function. It makes the sound of the reed more um, more sweet because the player can use this. This is the this is how the reed should be open when playing.
say is that you start from other notes, like on piano, you start from G, A, or C, or D. The sounds of all these seducts are very, very similar. It's just a ma matter of convenience for the player. Some players like A duduk, some players like C duduk. Generally, the most popular duduk is A duduk. This is B minor duduk. So the, the sound is the same, almost the same. A little sharper than A duduk.
to make uh, of the tree to make the duke oh, the dukes are being made from the middle part of the tree like from here if you use the edges of the tree it won't last long so the duke will be defective as you see these trees are very old uh, all these trees are at least 50 years old if you make the dukes from younger trees it will be wet and drying process is very complicated and sometimes it's not possible to to dry the wood so these are 50 years old trees cut for making the dukes and then then this parts of trees goes to the sewing process and as you see here the master cuts it in very small pieces to prepare for drying this as you see those parts they they stay there at least two three months but before that I forgot to show that these trees parts of trees are here at least for three four years so they are 50 years old trees and they stay in the yard of the master for three four five years to dry and then the master uses so to cut them up and then they leave the small parts of the duduk pieces of the duduk wood for two three months to dry one more now we use these parts of trees to cut them up to the size of the duduk and then we take this wood to the saw to cut them to small pieces for duduk how the duduk is being made and first go to the ending point and how the all the duduk this as you see those parts
master's room, the, he uses two special machines, first of all. Exact word, but this is the sound of the wood. Now we will take out the dry. We make it very, very flat and soft. Almost to do. We need to make holes and then we need chemical to, to dry them. out and then we will show the coloring process. This is tuning process, the after making the